Hi everyone, welcome to BRR Knowledge Center. And in today's session, we'll talk about uh, what is impact analysis template and how it is helpful for the uh, different uh, users after your development done in, uh, uh, in particular place or particular file or particular module or particular project. So generally the uh, impact analysis purpose and the usage was, so it is going to give you a full grasp of how a change uh, happens in the project and how a change of project is going to impact individuals in an organization and how other uh, you know, consequences are happening. The main goal is to guide impacted stakeholders through an organizational change. So generally the purpose of this analysis document was to evaluate the effects, both pros and cons of an item under consideration and anything from a solutions to a stated problem to a pending or national change. So keep in mind that this document is not a risk analysis. This is a high level description of risks and mitigation plan and action and which comes into a particular change. Let's get into this, uh, I mean, uh, a more detailed discussion here and just uh, displaying here another screen where I'm going to discuss about what actually the impact analysis template was and why it is required uh, for a particular change of any uh, developer is going to do. So firstly, we'll talk about what is impact analysis document, impact analysis document. So this is going to explain about what actually the impact, impact analysis document contains. So impact analysis document uh, can be used as a checklist at the time level. So that means it is used to evaluate is used to evaluate change request before working on them. So this document basically evaluates the change request purpose and you know the impacts and risks. All these analysis is going to be included in this impact analysis document before uh, the respect team is going to start working on them. So the impact analysis document should give a details. The impact analysis document should give below details like as i said you know if you want to start this so you need to give the proper you know details of your request and then ask the development team to start working on that by filling all this information in the impact analysis template so hence it should give below details you know the kind of uh, a description of an issue or description of change request Change request, you can call it as CR. And coming to the next one is uh, explanation or shows an example how the defect is causing failure and or inefficiency going forward. So explanation of uh, or explain, uh, you know, the uh, show of how the, uh, you know, the defect is causing failure and or inefficiency. Okay, so these details should be uh, provided in the document before they start. 
so that so everybody and every stakeholder understand that this is going to have this impact and we are going to plan it with extra force to validate and verify this exchange in the coming releases. So impact analysis is defined as analyzing the impact of change. So in the deployed product or application, so it gives the information about the area of system that may be a different, you no, know, uh, you no, know, differently, uh, uh, you no, know, work out and differently plan and differently uh, giving impacts in other areas directly or indirectly, but it is going to give you information about the area of the system that may be uh, affected due to a change in the particular section of uh, our particular feature of uh, particular, you know the. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, technical challenges in the particular application. So the impact analysis uh, document basically provides checklist kind of, uh, you know, the uh, guidelines or bullet points for each and every stakeholder. The impact is analyzed on requirements, design and architecture, and impact on test and impact and schedule. So basically this uh, impact, the impact is, analyzed on requirement or design architecture. It all depends on the change request or bug you are going to work out. If it involves design and architecture, you need to explain it. So also impact on testing and Im impact on schedule to the client. So these all things will get uh, mentioned in the impact analysis document. So I'm just going to show you the impact analysis template, how it looks like, so that uh, you know, like what exactly the information is going to provide. So this is looks like the impact analysis template so where uh, every organization should have this impact analysis template so that before you start working on any bug or any change request, so they have to start filling all this information. So this change impact analysis template has having majorly a project name. So where do you need to mention it project name here and the change request, that means what change you are going to start and doing it and date of first assessment, that means when you started. So what is the date when you started first, uh, and you know, cut off for this change request. And this is state completed. This is going to be uh, having a date when you completed that particular change request. And coming to the next section here. So there are a lot of uh, columns here, current state and future state and the gap, scale of change, whether it may be project or model or function, type of impacts, system system level or application level or process level or deployment level, and level of impact priority, high, medium, low, and key risks and roles affected, and summary of impact and communication requirement. So that means how did you communicate this requirement and training requirements and leadership requirements. So these are the major columns this template is having it. All these information should be filled before you start working on a bug or change request in uh, uh, a particular project or particular application. If you look at a, a sample application like I'm going to share you. So if you look at here, this is the screen where uh, the forecast trees are displaying here, forecast date and temperature and centigrade, temperature and foreign heat in summary so if if you if, if there is a requirement to change these column names simply like i wanted to minimize or optimize these column names and or else give uh, proper namings for column headers to understand by stakeholders uh, this is what the change request comes to uh, development team then they just directly jump into code and going to change is not good uh, you know the practice for any development team so i know where the code is uh, executing so it's not correct in going and changing it. This is where I'm giving is a column names and forecast the temperature, centigrade temperature and foreign it summary. But I don't want to directly jump into here and change the code. Before that, I wanted to fill this document. 
saying that current state, current state, how it looks like. So you need to fill it here. Let us say like, this is my project. Let us say ABC project. And today change request was um, optimizing or, uh, you know, uh, giving a short and unique column headers. This is what my change request. Data of assessment was some, you know, uh, something like February 9, uh, June. 2020. So this is uh, when I was uh, no, uh, uh, working with so-and-so X project. So this was initially started discussion at the point of time, uh, 2021 or something. And when it is going to be completed, let us say like um, 20 uh, June 2021. And here you mention it like what is the current state actually, and what is the future state? That means current state is it is showing you know the uh, column headers or uh, uh, something like you know what are the column headers currently is showing it you need to mention it here so and then you are mentioning it in future state so after uh, development it is showing in uh, columns column headers or something in different way is what uh, mentioning here and the gap so what would be the gap between this current state and future state you need to mention it and the scale of a change here you need to mention it so here it is simple a function here i'm just saying function and type of impact is it is kind of a, a system or application or process it is obviously application and this is not going to impact anything hence i'm going to mention it low and care is not applicable roles affected not applicable summary of impact so as i said no impacts i don't have any impacts and communication on requirements how it was communicated to stakeholders uh, putting doc instructions uh, or change request details in uh, external release notes to uh, the stakeholders that's how i'm going to communicate and training requirement is if required. So what are the training requirements you need to have? It. And you need to mention training requirements stuff here, training uh, related schedules to the uh, client or your project manager. Uh, it's, it's again, depends on schedule plans you need to provide it here. And the leadership requirement, if you require any leadership uh, during this demonstration or any uh, change uh, request you're doing it you need to mention it here if not required just say not applicable this is how you need to mention it before you start doing any project so this is going to give you clear picture on the change which you're working on it to the any stakeholders and it is going to give more detail before they start verifying and validating the change request or bug fix and they are more uh, into this impact analysis document and they go for preparing and validating functional test cases as well as part of a feature verification. So coming to here, why, why, oh, why is the change impact analysis is done? So when I say why is the change impact analysis is done? So this is what a question comes to everyone. Why this is, uh, done means so it is uh, done uh, to understand the possible uh, outcome of you know the implementation or implementing uh, you know the change so that it inducing too much functionality functionality in a product can be a product can be uh, reduce the overall uh, you know, performance of the uh, product performance of the product so it is done to understand the possible outcome of implementing change so it using too much functionality into product can reduce the overall performance since it has to be explained in more pro prominent way and also to identify uh, 
to identify all the files and documents uh, and that and more and models uh, that might that might uh, have to be modified. Let us say like there is a change is happening on UI. So what are other models are involving in that chain like business layer, data layer, or database layer, persistent layer. So a service layer or you know the REST service level or in any other proxy level or in any you know, deployment level. So what are other models are involved in this change are going to be listed out here in this document since single place they can identify all the files uh, to be modified if uh, you know if a, a team decides to implement the change in So and also to identify uh, to identify the uh, task required to uh, implement the change the change and and also the uh, estimates so to estimate the effort needed behind uh, implementing the change also can be uh, uh, navigated through this impact analysis and also it will list the dependencies uh, on a specific element change so these are all the, some of the areas uh, and stakeholders and the developers are getting into insights if you do impact analysis and these are these are all some checklist points so and can be done uh, for each and every issue or bug fix and change request changes so that you will have more information into that so this is what the purpose of having this and i hope you understand the template requirement and the you know the data you need to fill it here so i'm going to uh, uh, wrap up the session here and i hope you understand the requirement of impact analysis template and impact analysis task before you do uh, starting or uh, before starting implementation and kind of uh, advantages you have if you do so thanks for watching this video and uh, uh, please subscribe this channel for more videos on uh, different topics and different you know the uh, uh, details of other technology aspects in this channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching this. Bye.